Welcome to Validity University. In this series of short videos, we will discuss some key investing concepts that impact investors today and distill them down into their most important components. In today's video, we discuss the low volatility factor. Low volatility is one of the most difficult factors for many investors to understand because on the surface, it shouldn't work. We are all taught that to get an additional return, we need to take on additional risk, but low volatility flips that on its head. Depending on which studies you look at, low volatility stocks either produce the same return as the market with less risk, or they produce a greater return with less risk. Both of those violate basic financial theory. We will talk about why low volatility works in a minute, but before we do that, let's talk about how it is defined. There are two major ways investors can identify low volatility stocks. The first is standard deviation. Standard deviation looks at the volatility of a stock on its own. If a stock has significant fluctuations in its price over time, it will have a high standard deviation. The second measure of low volatility is beta. Beta is different from standard deviation, and it takes into account the relationship between a stock's movement and the movement as a mar of the market as a whole. It is looking at the risk a stock adds to an already diversified portfolio. If a stock zigs when the market zags, it can have a high standard deviation, but a lower beta. Now that we've defined the measures of low volatility, let's go back to why it works. Investing factors that work over time typically do so for one of two reasons. Either they're riskier than the market and investors get paid for taking on that risk, or they capitalize on some sort of systematic mispricing due to investor behavior. Low volatility is impossible to explain using the first framework and difficult to explain using the second. By definition, low volatility involves investing in stocks that are less risky than the market, so it can't work because it takes on more risk. It is also difficult to explain why investors would systematically underprice low volatility stocks, but the most common explanation is a behavioral one. The most common explanation for why low volatility works is that investors who can't use leverage bid up the prices of high beta stocks beyond their fundamentals. This leaves those stocks overpriced relative to low volatility stocks, and low volatility investors take advantage when the mispricing is corrected. There are several other important points to keep in mind with low volatility investing. The first is that low volatility is a chameleon. What I mean by that is that it will switch between industries and sectors depending on where the lowest volatility is. There's a common misconception that low volatility just involves investing in sectors like utilities, but that is only true at times. It is impossible to pin down low volatility as a sector-specific strategy. Investors will also often confuse the terms low volatility and minimum volatility, but they can be very different. Low volatility involves investing in stocks that have the lowest levels of volatility on their own. Minimum volatility is a portfolio construction process that focuses on the volatility of the portfolio itself and not the volatility of the individual positions within it. Minimum volatility looks to find the optimal combination of a series of stocks that produces the lowest volatility at a portfolio level. That can involve including stocks that have low volatility on their own, but it can also involve adding more volatile stocks if they reduce the volatility of the overall portfolio. The final point to keep in mind with low volatility is that it may work best when combined with other factors. For example, some studies have shown that the majority of the excess return low volatility has generated historically has come when the stocks selected using the strategy were also cheap. So low volatility has worked better when it is combined with value. This concludes our look at the low volatility factor. We appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. To find more of our Validia University videos, you can follow our Validia channel on YouTube. You can also follow us on Twitter at, at GuruInvestor. To read our investment commentary, you can go to our blog at blog.validia.com. To take a free trial to our subscription product, which includes the 22 plus factor models we run, you can go to our research website at www.validia.com. Thank you for watching.